Hey guys, so as you probably guessed by the title, this is going to be like my minimal glowy beachy look. It's like what I would wear for like an everyday kind of beachy makeup look. I don't know, like an every, even an everyday look if you didn't want to go like wearing makeup to the beach. I personally don't wear makeup to the beach. I usually just go all natural. But if I'm you know, going to be taking pictures or I'm doing like drinks by you know the pool or something like that. I want to look a bit done up, you know what I mean? So if I'm wanting to look a bit done up but nothing too crazy, like not much effort put in or anything like that, then I'll go to this look. So because my lips are feeling a little bit dry, I'm going to go with my Puda Healing Peppermint Lip Balm. This stuff is incredible. It just literally moisturizes your lips and stays on forever. And of course it's part of that Puda range, so it's 100% natural guys, so there's no nastiness going into your body. Always a good thing. Always a plus. Sorry if I'm a bit nasally today. I've been a little bit sick, so I'm still getting over it. But I thought I would film today for you guys anyway. So, so guys, I always like to put some sunscreen on my skin before I go out during the day because I don't want the UV rays to damage my skin. I don't want to get burnt in the harsh Australian sun, especially in summer. You get burnt, burnt so easily, so I always like to apply some just some sunscreen or anything like that. So what I like to do for my skin, I usually like toss between either using like an everyday kind of cancer council sunscreen or I use my 100% natural sunscreen from Manda. And it has an SPF of 50 so I know it's going to last. I've been wearing this lifeguarding mostly just on my face. I don't usually like to apply it to my whole body because it's, it's a paste and it just, it's a lot more effort to rub in. So I'm just like quickly on the go, I'll just apply this to my face because it's natural, it's not going to absorb nastiness into my skin and I'll use my Cancer Council one all over the bod. So as you can see it's like a little bit like a paste, it's quite like thick in texture, like it doesn't come off that easily. In summer though it's quite, uh, it kind of softens, it's quite hard in winter. So that's why I kind of switched between them. In summer it kind of softens up, like if you just apply heat to it, so you just keep rubbing it round and round and round, it'll come off like that into like a paste. And what I just do is I just kind of wipe it onto my skin. And then I'll just rub it in. And of course just apply more where it's needed. But because it is like a natural, it's made from, what is it made from? It's made from like coconut oil, beeswax and things like that so it's got quite a rough, like not a rough texture, like a kind of waxy texture to it so it does just take a little bit of heat from your fingers to rub in but don't like smoosh your face, just kind of lightly rub it in and I just like the healthier alternative for sunscreen because I have heard a lot of like people having you know, reactions to sunscreen and like the how it's it's not that great for your skin like chemical wise but like the, the alternative is burning so like we'll use it but I always like to just have like a natural alternative and I don't burn in this one I've tested it, it's tried and tested it has my tick of approval it doesn't um, cause me to burn I always just like to apply just a little bit more on my nose because that's where I burn babe and can't forget those ears so guys, that was the Manda sunscreen. It's natural, it's really good, it lasts all day and it doesn't like leave like a wax, like a greasy cast over your skin. It actually just kind of sinks in. It's nice. So yes guys, I am in a bikini top, but I thought because I get all the decklace share showing and because this is a beachy look, I beached it up. Mm -mm. Okay, let's tuck all these bags, shall we? So, I like to use my Soft Ochre MAC Paint Pot because it is a pro long wear concealer and it doesn't crease on me. But in saying that, I only use a tiny, tiny amount under the eyes where it's needed. So what I do is I just grab a little bit on my finger and I'll just dab it on the inner corner and under the eyes. Just where I can tend to get the most darkness. And I literally barely used any product. Do you see how it's like concealed the darkness on my inner corner? And because I'm using such a little amount of product, it shouldn't 
crease on me during the day and it, it doesn't crease on me and I don't actually set it with a powder I actually just leave it so if I do start to see a little bit of creasing I'll just randomly just pat under my eyes to make sure there isn't any during the day and the powder not being there will help it just melt back into the skin again so I just do a couple of pats like this during the day and that usually keeps me good to go I just bring like literally whatever's left on the fingers down that little triangle in the center of our face to brighten but also just kind of help it blend into the skin and like literally already looking so much more awake mm, 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 girl I don't actually like to do any of my lids just because I like to keep my natural shade in there like the natural coloration it just kind of gives a bit of dimension to the eyelids and things like that without having to try I only really just cover any unwanted discoloration under the eyes just to make myself look a bit more awake and healthy and fresh. So next I like to like, kind of warm up the complexion a little bit more. So this is going to be like all cream kind of um, products today guys just because they help melt into the skin the most. They look the most natural and it just it's a nice finish to the skin I feel like. So I'm going to grab my Hoola Quickie Contour Stick Bronzer from Benefit. This is the perfect shade I feel like. And I just apply this to really any places that I usually bronze up the skin. So like the cheekbones and the forehead. Just a couple of swipes. Nothing. <laughs> I look like a leopard. Under the chin. Kind of like contour a bit. Jawline. And I will actually like bronze the body as well and under just kind of contour down the chest is so I just blend it all in with my Real Techniques stippling brush I always do like to bring it on the nose because you know how you get when you get that sun kiss glow it kind of goes along the nose I think that's like when I'm blending it in I'm just going to kind of bring it onto that area here just for that natural sun kissed look can't forget those ears and once you're done it just literally looks like skin it doesn't look like something cakey or fake it just looks like you've got a natural tan to the skin ah love it so for the glow of the skin, I actually like to use like a couple of things to really just enhance the glow. So I'll first go in with my LA Girl Velvet Bronze Contour Stick. It says it's a contour stick, but to be honest, to me it's more of a glow stick. It gives you such a gorgeous, like, goddessy glow. And it's actually in the shade Goddess. <laughs> so fitting. And I apply this literally just everywhere I've bronzed so to really just enhance that glow to give a bit more like the bronzer is good to warm up the complexion this is to give it that goddess glow and with this product I actually use my finger to press it into the skin I won't usually use a beauty sponge or brush unless I feel like I've applied too much so we'll see <laughs> And it has such a gorgeous like sheen to the look, like a golden sheen. That's why I feel like it gives it that gorgeous goddess glow. And of course I like to just go over the bridge of the nose. And the kind of cheek area here. And I'll rub it in on the kind of um, collarbone area to really just disperse it. And there you go, you've got your little goddess glow. Like it just gives that bronzer a bit more of a kick. A bit more something something. Now, like I said, I like to go crazy with my glow. So I'm going to grab my Maybelline uh, Master Strobing Liquid. This one's in the shade Iridescent. I really like this one because it, <laughs> it's like a crazy bright highlight. It's so pretty. And what I do with this is I just apply it to the high points of the cheekbones and just tap it in with my finger and I kind of connect it to the tail of my brow so it's like a 
and it doesn't leave like a cast like with a powder it kind of leaves a cast over the skin sometimes whereas this is just like nah nah it's all glow all skin and I'll tap it on the tip of my nose as well Oop, a bit much Ooh, look like little Rudolph there <laughs> the bridge of my nose and I do just whatever excess is on my finger I'll just kind of dab it right here I love highlighting just this point of the brow right here because it's such a natural point to catch the light and then I just go crazy on the cupid's bow <laughs> also hit the bottom part of the chin and then I'll take the rest of that glow and just rub it into the decolleture so like collarbones shoulders anywhere where I, want to, where I want to really catch that light and it's just like boom the glow is everywhere um it looks like like literally like I've just been to the beach I'm just bronzy and glowy and all that good stuff next for the brows I just like to really just brush them upwards and help them like to stay in the upwards bushy fluffy looking brow and I also like to give them a bit of colour back to like the brows because they can get a bit lost with all the glow so I take my Rimmel brow this way brow sculpting gel I'll just run this through my brows real quick just to give them a bit of colour back to them and like I said brush them upwards and it'll keep them in place all day long and there we go we've got colour and shape back to thy brows so to finish off with the like creams for today I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Glaze like blush in the shade Coral Sheen I like to give a bit of like a sunburnt kiss to the skin like when you've been sitting in the sun you get a bit of like a redness so I'm going to apply this to like the apples of my cheeks and across the bridge of my nose where you naturally get that kind of redness sitting on the face and I'm literally just dabbing a bit one at a time because I don't want too much and then I have to blend it out I just love that like sunburnt look not like actually getting burnt I don't, I don't love that but I love having a bit of redness there like a healthy healthy flush to the skin like you've had a nice good dose of vitamin D what was that? I never take that again <laughs> okay and with that coral blush I'm actually going to like apply, apply some to my lips as well just the centre and just kind of like rub it in for a bit of colour to the lips because I won't really, I won't bother with a lipstick or anything, it's like a natural look, I don't want anything crazy. And it ties in with the redness on the face as well, so it's just going to be the colour back to the lips. And I, I kind of just apply it to the centre. Mmm, yes. Okay, so to kind of just make sure this stays, I do a light, light dusting of translucent powder not something with colour to it because I don't want to add any coverage or cakiness to the face I just literally want a light dusting of powder because I am oily so I don't want to get I don't want this to move or anything like that and I find literally just using a light layer it keeps it on for such a long period of time but when I say a light layer I literally mean a light layer and then I just apply it down my neck as well like where I've applied those products just to make sure that they stay I don't want to get rid of that glow that's why I'm doing such a light layer as well like I don't want to do all that glow and then just have matte skin like that's no fun then I'll take my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray and lock this all in set it down and I want to intensify the glow a little bit so I'm going to go in with like a powder this is from the Violet Voss Highlighting Trio and I take the two bronzy shades called Star Glow and Unicorn Luster. I mix those two together and because they're quite bronzy they're just going to really melt into my skin and just not look like a cast but quite like just a nice sheen to the skin. It's also going to intensify that glow and lock it in place. And I literally just applied that to the high points of the cheekbones. Now I'm just going to maybe just dab a little bit on the chin as well. Then taking Moon Gleam, which is like the lightest golden-y shade, I'm going to apply that to the high points of my nose 
and Cupid's bow. And I'm going to hit the lip as well because I want that kind of glowy metallic -y lip. And it also makes it look fuller as well. And with this highlight, I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of my eyes to brighten them up and make them look more awake. And also hit the very arch of my brow bone. Because I don't know about you, but I love a brow bone highlight. Now you guys can apply mascara if you want to. I personally don't bother with mascara. I have quite, I'm quite lucky I have quite dark lashes. So I'm just going to go in and curl them, but it is optional. You guys can apply some waterproof mascara just in case you go swimming or something. I quite like that kind of soft lash look with like the glowy bronze skin. I just think it's so natural looking. I just love it. And because we didn't uh, put any like concealer or anything on the lids, you've got that natural definition in the crease just from your natural skin tone. That's nice. It's very nice. So this completes almost actually I think I might just do one layer of setting spray before I finish up. A trick with the curling of the lashes I forgot to say is heat up the actual, like take the plastic part off and heat up the curler with a hair dryer. And it's like a straightening effect. You know when you straighten your hair, the heat of the iron keeps it straight. It's the same thing with the curler. The heat of the curler will keep your lashes curled. But otherwise, this wraps up today's look. Let me do the outro. I hope you guys did enjoy today's very natural, glowy look. Like, it is super natural. Like, uber natural. But to me, this is like a really easy, everyday look. Like, it'll take you, like, five minutes to bronze... Um, apply a bit of blush, a bit of highlight and you're good to go so I do hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me i really like to know what videos you do like and I'll see you in my next video have an amazing day, enjoy your season if you're in winter, enjoy winter if you're in summer, enjoy summer and I'll see you guys soon Mwah. bye